What's going on guys? Larry Wheels here with Mark Boyd, the strongman coach of Dubai. So here we are at Mark's gym. We're about to hit a heavy deadlift. Well, I think you're doing 280, you said? Uh, 240. 240. 240 today, okay. Yeah. Speed deadlift, so. So we have it arranged where Mark goes light, I go heavy. We've been alternating, but we're training every Tuesday and Saturday. Today's Saturday. That means it's my heavy day. I'm going to rack on 340 kg, as many as I can. Then next week, I get to take a break from my spine and do some speed deadlifts. If you haven't already, guys, this workout has actually been done live and is going live right now on TeamPressRecord.com. So check it out for live workouts and for training programs, nutrition, all that good stuff. Now, pure off of the day, pure white shirt, and my favorite um, shorts to wear for training because they are moisture wickening, so you won't get um, they won't get wet and sweaty. Especially useful when it's about 45 degrees out in the hot sun <laughs> at 12 o'clock. Yeah. Where's mine? Where's my shirt? <laughs> that cotton? Yeah, that it's denim? cotton. It's cotton. I'm soaking it up. <laughs> um, so we're going to get to it. Let's see it. Oh. Oh. It makes you move the bar quicker. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you just want it over and done with. Yeah, we just ice the hands before. I guess that works. Or ice the bar. Oh, yeah. It's no problem. It's alright, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's what's going on with the bar? That bar is so hot, it's gonna stick to my skin. It might help with grip. <laughs> and uh, with speed, you might get the shit over and done with.
So on uh, this platform here, uh, in one area, the up until I got up to five reds, the plate was sinking all the way to the bottom of the mat. So there's a big dip. And I want to say it's about an inch. That on top of me standing on the mat, which is probably like a three inch deficit. It's a very big deficit. And it felt like a very long pull. I almost felt like my hips were parallel um, when I was getting into position. So now I moved the bar in the back of the platform where it's, uh, there has been no impact, so it's like probably this much of a difference. Um, that means it's a shorter pull. Anyways, last week was 320 for four, it was, and that was my first heavy pull in at least 10 weeks. This is 340, and the objective, three to five reps. I hit, even if I only hit three, I'm still in a good place. So let's make it happen. Yeah, I said, rep up. Dude, this one. Let's go fight this. Come on, Lani, let's go. Just two. Come on. And again, let's go. Rep and rep. Dude, there's two. Yeah. Let's go. This is really count. Oh, shit. Oh. Good job. You're bleeding. Oh, wait, come here. Let me see. Yeah. Look, at the, look at the Oh, my God. Look at all that acne. Look at that fresh Ooh. acne. <laughs> yeah. He's a bleeder. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's that? One way to do that. Fuck's sake. Oh my god, look at the back of your head. Oh man. He's gonna need surgery. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. Fine. I mean, probably the heat, but don't feel my best. Yeah. Um. Even still, 20 kg more. And last I only did four, today I did three. I'm happy with that, it's progression. Ooh. Pinky for some reason. My pinky is taking a beating. Yeah. Very sore. Yeah. Huh? Nah, it's just bruised and, and pain. I don't know why. Back in the a triple beltless 340 on a deficit. <laughs> good man. I'm not angry. Yeah, I'm, I'm you're, happy you're with it. Yeah, that's the thing. Still getting back into it. <laughs> yeah. There's no doubt the heat makes it more difficult. It's just you don't feel 100%. You feel like 90%. The heat makes it a bit harder to get angry, get, a, get aggressive. Get a like when you're in the sun, it just drains you every minute you're under it. Especially, this is 45 degrees Celsius, nearly 110 degree Fahrenheit heat. Not making excuses, but because of the circumstances, I'm happy with that. I know many of you may be watching saying, what happened to Larry, but the layoff heat, deficit. So, nonetheless, Still progress from last week. 320 for four to 340 for three. And next week is a light week for speed reps. Then a week after that, we're going heavy again. Let's see what happens. Let's see, come on. Get to work. Ah, let's get to work, come on. Okay guys, I believe we have some unfortunate news. It sounds like I couldn't hear because that damn thing was right next to me. Mark just pulled a lat. Yeah, yeah, I heard a little crunch, little tear. I think it's gonna be a small tear, but I heard the crunch. This is definitely to do with the heat in terms of uh, hydration. I've tried to keep on top of it, but the heat's just catching up. A little crunch in the lats, I'm just gonna call it there um, and focus on recovery. Um, hopefully it can be a quick recovery. I've, I've done it before in my left lat. 
um, it was a small tear, it's the same sort of scenario, just don't want to push through it, so I'm going to cut, cut it short, and yeah, don't worry, we'll be back. Yeah, it sounds like maybe a three week kind of layoff situation. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe sooner. Maybe sooner, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll get all the recovery done and the diet's on point, so. I will say, uh, anytime I've ever lifted in extreme heat or extreme cold, I've gotten injured. So years back, my first injury I've ever gotten was at this gym called Global Strongman. It's now shut down in New York City, Manhattan. Out there with BTC, we're deadlifting on a very stiff bar for yeah. the first time. Because I basically dealt with a squat bar. But the heat in there, it must have, this was the summer, it must have been just as hot as this, maybe yeah. a little bit warmer because there was no air conditioning indoors, so it was very humid. And after about three sets of like 300 kg, I pulled my hamstring. Yeah. One more example is at Mark Bell's gym. Uh, it was, I was freezing. I literally had goosebumps, you know, even though I, I couldn't get warm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I tore my pack. You know? Yeah, so those extreme temperature differences, yeah, yeah. You want it to be optimal. One more example before I wrap it up. Right before Wembley last year, I tore my bicep. I was lifting outside doing stones. Yeah. Again, this was maybe what was it October? When was Wembley? September? Yeah. August. Yeah. But it was it was cold there. It was cold. cold yeah. It was cold that morning. It was it was for me. It was very cold, windy, but wet. Yeah. Yeah. And there was I was far from warm, and I tried my best to warm up. I couldn't really get warm. Anyways, tore my bicep. So just really be careful when lifting in extreme cold or yeah. extreme heat and if you don't have to if there's a way around it i'd recommend that but we were kind of pushed into a corner in the last couple of weeks yeah yeah you know where you know gyms are super strict with masks and uh one gym that we usually train at called warehouse actually just opened yesterday yeah so uh, i believe this will be our final workout in the sauna yeah for sure for sure this is the last workout yeah, we'll be back in the gym yeah. hopefully i'll have uh, i'll take a few days to gauge how this is and uh no oh, it should be good it should be good yeah, I'm positive. I, I'm I'm good with recovery, so yeah, absolutely. Let's see what happens. All right. Well, I suppose that's a wrap for today. Then yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I'm stuff. happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So also for those of you out there who think it's a good idea to keep training after you just pull the muscle, and it usually sounds like a crunching or a popping, snapping. Just call it there. Call it there. I visit, recommend uh, visiting a sports physical therapist. Yeah. You know, these are the steps I've done. I've gotten nearly a dozen injuries over the past few years. And every time I've gotten injured, I just immediately stop training. Next day, saw a PT. And yeah. whether it meant I got to get an MRI or whatever, just that's going to be your quickest way to recovery. Because on my second phone, ice bath. Or ice bath. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> get some uh, cold therapy done. Absolutely. There's nothing better than an ice bath for anti-inflammation. So, suppose that's a wrap up for the, today's video. Uh, if you aren't already, follow Mark Boyd at Albino Ape on YouTube yeah. and on Instagram, Mark Boyd underscore wuss. We will be back at it in just a few days. So, we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. See you.